What is up, YouTube? Tonight will be night one with the Light Outdoors tarp. So stay tuned, and I'll see y'all at camp. All right, so we just got to camp. I set up my hammock. Uh, excuse me if this is rushed, but a storm is rolling in, which is partially why I decided to come out tonight. So we're gonna set up the tarp, uh, but we're sleeping over the hammock. So here we go. setting any land speed records for that one but I got an a-frame shelter set up um, reason I'm doing that one today um, I don't really know but I'll be able to put a lot of firewood underneath there and uh, all my gear so yeah now I'm going to get to cutting some firewood from my fire this is my little camp spot I found so I mean it's already set up for me i got a, a fire pit and a creek so yeah well i'll uh check back in with y'all later i know that it's gonna rain hopefully i don't get wet so i might change this setup um after i get some firewood actually i'm feeling it sprinkle right now so i'm gonna go ahead and throw all my gear under there and uh open up the front with my trekking poles maybe make a front porch thing that way um, after I get some firewood, I can still watch the fire. So, see y'all in a little bit. So I'm out here fiddling with the fire. It uh, is still raining, just has not stopped, but it kind of eased up, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Like I said, I was gonna open up the front porch area, so I did. Uh, that way I could see the fire. It's, and it gives me a lot of room. I got my leftover firewood right there and lots of dry space. The only issue that I had was when I opened up the front porch area, it wanted to pull up right there in the middle. So I just had an extra tie right there and you can see it drains pretty much in the same spot every time, which has worked because that means I don't have to filter my water. Well, I don't have to get it from the creek. I still might filter it, but uh, yeah, plenty of space underneath there. So we'll go underneath. Chair set up. And we're just gonna enjoy the fire. So it's the next morning. Well, it's afternoon actually. Uh, I took my dear sweet time getting up this morning and uh, had a good time with the fire. And I just kind of waited for the rain to stop. But as you can tell now, the sun is out. So, recap last night I stayed dry, my gear stayed dry. I did um, take the front porch area down and make it back into an A-frame shelter just to keep the wind off me because it started picking up a little bit. But all in all, it seems like my seam seal worked and the tarp made it through at least one night. Nothing soaked through. So we'll see y'all at day two, night two. I think it's supposed to snow. Uh, that's in a couple days. So I'm gonna try to get out here and uh, see what it's like in the snow. As you can see, compared to last night, it has really turned into a beautiful day. Um, this is where I was gonna camp last night, had that storm not rolled in. 
well, had I gotten out a little sooner um, and beat the storm, I knew it was coming in. But anyway, the reason I'm here checking in with y'all now is because I realize that if I do five different nights for this video, it's gonna be a really long video. So instead of that, we'll just do five different parts. So five different videos. So anyway, y'all check in at the next one. Um, hopefully I get out in that couple days, like I said, in about two or three days. Uh, and we'll see how it holds up in the snow. See y'all at part two.